Good job. <laughs> yeah, so excited. Hi guys, Keeper Brittany here. I am a swing keeper at Memphis Zoo. I am trained in primates and I am actually learning China this week. So I'm going to take you along on a training day in China. It is my third day in China. So I am still learning, but I'm going to try and take the lead today. See what I know and see what I'm still learning. Um, so I am going to take you guys along in a day in life of a keeper here at Memphis Zoo. So now I'm here in the China kitchen with Hannah. Going the wrong way. So she's training with me today and we're prepping some diets for the birds. We have them right here. So we're just gonna go feed some waterfowl first and I'll show you guys what we do for that. And we are trying to crate train our red-breasted geese. So we do have this crate in here. And what we do is we just take a little bit of grain and then we'll just throw it in there, get them nice and comfortable. And we just leave this open all day and we'll close it at night so that they don't get trapped in there. And it just gives them a little bit more comfortability with the crate. And we're just trying to get them crate trained just in case we need to move them at any point or anything like that. So next we're gonna go feed our thrush. They do have some babies right now, so they're a little bit more protective than usual. They do like shiny objects, so I'm not actually gonna take the camera in here with them. As you can see, this one's checking me out right now. But they're also very excited for their breakfast. A zookeeper's favorite accessory, you might ask, or at least mine, bug spray. I'm here with Rajani. She's one of our proud of leopards. She is the more vocal of the two. I know, we're so excited. We do tom feed, so we just fit it through the mesh and she'll grab it. All right guys, so I'm in the clouded leopard day room right now. So I'm just gonna be cleaning in here while they eat their breakfast. So now the clouded leopards are on exhibit for the day and a nice clean room and they have a little pool for enrichment. It is um, filled with a little bit of water so we'll see if they want to go swimming today if they're little swimming cats. And here is little Rajani. Right, so now we're in with our red pandas. We have Hazel right in front of me. I'm just feeding her a little biscuit ball. It has some grapes in it and some Benny leaf eater which is just some nutrients in minerals and all that kind of stuff. It's kind of like a dog biscuit. She gets that, she gets a lot of bamboo like you can see behind them. And some fruit, she's got some grapes in here. She also likes apples a lot. We weighed them yesterday, so not doing anything too special with them today, just kind of hanging out with them. Zuki Sam, he likes to stand up for his raisins, so. He's a little ferocious bear. <laughs> Good job. Oh. So we're done cleaning the room, so they have a clean broom. They have some fresh bamboo, the fresh food, fresh water, and we did put some enrichment in. So we have some jolly balls in here today, so they can mess with those, kind of throw them around if they want to. And we are done in here. All right, so me and Hannah are in the Langer yard now. We are setting up for them to go outside for the day. We are giving them a new enrichment today, which is boots from Old Keepers. It is repurposed rubber boots for them. So we are stuffing some of their diet in there, like you can see, and we're just putting in the boots so the monkeys have to um, dig through it and get all the good stuff out of it. And we'll put that all over the yard so they have equal opportunity to grab them. So we're just doing that right now and we'll send the monkeys out when everything is ready. All right, so our lingers are outside now and it looks like they did get some of the food out of the boots and they're all just kind of hanging around doing linger things. 
Right, so now we're just doing some diet prep for the next day. So I'm just cutting up our Pure David Deer um, diet. So they just get a little bit of produce and also some like alfalfa hay and extra stuff like that. All right, so we are done with our bird diets. We have them all lined up here. That is ready to go for tomorrow morning's breakfast. All right, so now we're just trying to get the Pier David deer inside so we can clean their yard. So we went ahead and set up the barn for either Freddie or the girls and we put some grain in there and it's got water and AC going for them. So they'll be nice and cool inside. So we were able to get Freddie in. So he is in the holding area right now. So he's off exhibit. So we are able to go in with our three females as long as we have extra keepers with us. All right, so we are out in the deer yard. This is Heinz. She is very friendly, like you can see. She likes to come up here. So we can clean in with them. Um, they're pretty friendly. They'll come up to you. The other ones will not. But so we do just put down some food so they'll be distracted while we clean. They got some hay out here, some grain, some browse, and then we'll just pick up the old hay, the old poop, all that nice stuff. Our normal zookeeping job. So as I'm close to finishing up my day here at Memphis Zoo, I am just coming in, checking on the primates, just kind of wrapping up my day and actually just came down to the gorilla wing and guess who's inside? We got a little kabarba. She just ate a little bell pepper, so that's why she got some seeds on her mouth. She's one of our four gorillas we have here. So she's just hanging out inside. They always have access to one room inside during the day. So she's just inside at the moment, just saying hello and just getting a little snack from me. All right, guys, that is the end of my day. We are clocked out and going home. Thank you guys for tagging along with me on today's day in the life of a zookeeper and happy National Zookeeper Week.